The next topic comes from Ash from Popcorn and Horror. And basically Ash has put out a, a topic, is 4K a big enough upgrade from Blu-ray? Uh, first of all, I'll say Ash um, is a cool guy. He's, he's had a great channel on YouTube in the past. I, I don't think his videos are on at the moment, but he's a, he's a really sound guy, Ash, and a great topic here. Great uh, topic to throw into the mix here, Ash. So yeah, is 4K a big enough upgrade uh, from Blu-ray and he's also got a follow-up as well Ash with this um, he also said um, you know lots of factors involved for one I think you need to have the right equipment to get the most out of 4k example Dolby Vision OLED 2 will help I'm sure I think some films with low budget effects can often bet look better as on Blu-ray as 4k can sometimes show too much detail with these it can even depend on how good your own eyes are too. <laughs> um, my eyes aren't the best, so often I struggle to see a real difference in detail. I'm definitely not against 4K, but I'm not sure it's needed for all movies I enjoy. Uh, and he's also said the, also the cost to enjoy the, the cost of I'm I'm awful at reading. The cost to enjoyment is debatable too. For example, I love 80s blob movie. The 80s Blob movie, uh, the Blu-ray cost me about £10, the 4K is currently over £30. I'm not sure how much more I will enjoy it in 4K for three times the cost. First of all, yeah, great topic, Ash. Thank you very much, buddy. Um, look, I, I'm, I'm not going to say, I'm, disclaimer, I, I don't currently collect Blu-ray or 4K. Uh, I'm still a DVD guy, streaming, but, you know, I've experienced 4K, I've experienced Blu-ray. Um, for me... It is is going up to Blu-ray and 4K? It, well, first of all, for me, is there a big difference? I, I think it depends on the movie. I really do think it depends on the movie because I know people out there say like this certain movie in 4K is stunning. So I'm not going to say that. A, you know, it's to me. I find Blu-ray and 4K personally for me. I'm kind of like I'm like Ash here. I find it really confusing. So I'm like looking at it's like do you know when you go to the it's like when you go to the opticians to get your eye checked and you get your eyes checked and they're like which one looks clearer this one or this one and you're looking at it and it's so you there is there's there's a difference there but it's so subtle and i find that with blu-ray and 4k to be so subtle maybe that's just my eyes maybe my eyes are not like perfect but i i if you told me this is 4k this is blu-ray i'd be like okay i believe you i, I wouldn't know which one's which if i'm being honest i i, I think it gets up at a certain point where it just looks it looks stunning <laughs> and that's it and i get there's people, people out there who can really tell and they you know they study it a bit more and i'm just not one of the people for, personally not to say i won't be in the future and maybe i will in the future uh, so i do think it's subtle but it's, it's kind of like as well like video games um Look, the big, the biggest jump in video games was from the SNES, the SNES, the Super Nintendo, the Mega Drive to the PlayStation, and then you go from the PlayStation to the likes of the PlayStation Two, and then you go from the PlayStation Two to the likes of the PlayStation Three, the Xbox 360. But then, furthermore from that, graphics again they went up, but it's ever so slightly, and it, again, it's very subtle changes. Because I think when you get to the 360 era, the PlayStation Three era, the PlayStation Four. Then it's like, is there a big jump between the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5 and graphics? I'm sure there's someone out there who'll be like, yes, yes, there is. But for me, it would be so subtle and so minor change, like minor of an upgrade. So Ash is right as well. That, you know, you got to think in the cost as well. 4K is a lot more expensive. You have to buy, and it's not about just buying the 4K you know, discs. A lot of that, you've got to buy a four-play player. Um you've got to get a 4k tv and now you can get bargains because i know i spoke to my my buddy um si simon um friday night at the, at the at the movies um he's on instagram simon he's been on the channel and basically he, he said he, he picked up a 4k player pretty cheap recently and he started buying 4ks and um he, he has the short box sharks podcast by the way check it out um but yeah it's you can definitely get bargains but it is, you know, there's obviously a big price difference though with Blu-ray to 4K. It's whether you want to buy into all that, you've got to get a TV. To get the best out of 4K, you want to get like an OLED TV probably or a decent 4K TV. Uh, you've got to get a player and then you get the discs and the discs are more expensive. You can get, obviously get bargains, you can get deals, but if you compare them to Blu-rays, Blu-rays you can pick up at the charity shops for dirt cheap now. They're like on DVD level really. 
So it's a big cost. I, I personally think if you are hardcore into your, in, not into your movies, because I don't think it's about being a hardcore movie. I think it's hardcore about visual and audio equipment. If you're hardcore into that, it's worth the upgrade if you're really into it all. Uh, I think if you're kind of just interested in watching movies and just really just a movie fan, and not to say them other people aren't movie fans, but I think if you're just into your movies, Blu-ray is great. I think it's a great format for people. Like I said, I don't collect it, but I've watched Blu-rays before. Uh, it's You can get good prices on Blu-rays now. Blu-ray players are, are, are cheap. And a Blu-ray player is going to work on most TVs people have. They don't have to go out and buy a brand new TV that works for 4K. So I, first, I per personally think, is it a big enough upgrade 4K? I don't think it is personally at the moment in time. Maybe I, I will be proven on that point in years to come and I'll be like, you know what, 4K is worth it. But I think personally, for me, looking at technology as a whole, different technologies, video games, uh, visuals, audio equipment, I personally think Blu-ray is great at this moment in time for, for a lot of people, for the mass audiences out there who watch movies at home. And I think 4K is going to be an option that's more ideal for people and more accessible in the years to come when it gets more affordable and when... When people are just doing that natural transition, natural transition to 4K TVs and stuff like that, I think still a lot of people don't have 4K TVs. They don't have the high, the high end 4K players. People, I think there's still, I think it's still a small niche 4K really, even though it's been out for years now. I do think it's a niche in the audio, and uh, visual sort of yeah, um, community really. I think Blu-rays, DVDs are still massively popular. Uh, so yeah, for me, it's not a big enough upgrade at this moment in time for me personally. But uh, great topic from Ash. Thumbs up, buddy. Appreciate the topic.